Kid, why you didn't get my size? Why do I gotta get it? Why don't you get it yourself? I don't get like the hookup like you, bro. I don't think you, this is too big for you. This my this is not a hey, word of advice. Don't get your girl into sneakers. Yo, what's going on with you YouTube? Drum and Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And what we have here today, we got a couple of early unboxing. Actually, no, we have one early unboxing. And then we had a pickup from a restock from Nike. Uh, yeah, it was it was on the Nike app, but one's on the sneakers app. They did a whole restock and all that stuff. And then we have like, I believe it's an early review or an early shoe that haven't came out yet in America, I wanna say. I'm not sure. But they're not really going too crazy much, so I do plan on actually maybe getting a personal pair eventually. But uh, right now, let's go ahead. Let's open up this early, this restock that we did. Uh, was able to get a, a W on. There we go. Powered by Nike. Shout out to those boxes. Those boxes are super duper trash. Anyways, we have a little Nike box here. As you guys see, usually this is a dunk, which. It is a dunk. And you guys already know the big restock that we got last week. And I was able to get a W, but it was a high though. <laughs> I know everyone loves the lose and all that. You know, I get it. And and all that. No one shows any love for the dunk highs. And still, you know what? I still say dunk highs are still pretty good, man. I know some people still like it. I think some women, some girls, they still like the good, the pretty colorways. And you know, don't sleep on dunk highs. They are still pretty nice. Uh, I know it is a panda high, and this one is a men's size this time. Usually in these panda highs, like their uh, last one, I think last year was the women's. It had like a little red tag and all that. But other than that, it's basically the same on same thing, I wanna say. Yeah, these are definitely the men's, and this is a personal size. This was able to get a nine and a half. And not only, not only that, I believe these things were sitting on the Nike app a little bit because like I said, it's a it's a dunk high. Not many people feel dunk high, are feeling dunk highs for whatever reason. Even though it is a panda colorway and all that, I just I think at the end of the day, not many people like dunk highs, you know. But hey, I still like them. I think still think they're cool. They're fine, you know. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna keep it. We'll see. Um, it is a nine and a half. It is my personal size, so we have to wait and see about that. But the one thing I do hate about dunk highs is that it really does cut up my ankles right here um so like you gotta really wear high socks or thicker socks up here because it, it does cut it it does cut me up a little bit just you know or at least a little sore oh i got this one an early look from my good people over uh my man uh chris young he also have a youtube channel as well i think he did a full detail review and all that good stuff so if you guys want to check it out i just want to take a look at it so he allowed me to just take a look at it and all that stuff so it's not my personal size unfortunately He's a bunch bigger size, but at least I'm able to take a look at it so you guys can decide if you guys want to get it or not because they're not really going for that much. All right, all right, all right. As you guys can see, it is an Air Jordan 1 box. But what is in this thing, huh? All right. And you guys already know my love for Air Jordan 1s, still there, you know? Anyways, here it is, guys. Wow, freaking. Law. This is the Air Jordan 1 Low OG. I believe they're calling it Dark Powder Blue or Black Dark Powder Blue. Not exactly sure what they're going to call these things, but overall, I still like them. They're still pretty cool. I'm not sure if a lot of people are going to like these things, to be honest. I like these things, and some people are not. Now, I know a lot of other people said this is like the poor man's Travis Scott fragment. I guess I can kind of see it. It does have the Travis Scott color blocking, except for the swoosh and all that, and a little bit of the vintage uh, sole. But you guys can see the blue and the blue, and the blue is definitely different. Uh, you know, other than that, I mean, I can see a little bit, but not for reals. Just because it's blue, that's probably what it is, and it is the same color blocking. But other than that, it's its own thing you know and it's actually a really nice shoe so actually you know like compared to a two thousand dollar shoe compared to like a hundred dollars you know like a hundred fifty dollar shoe you know they're not really going for much i haven't seen them come out in the u.s just yet i actually honestly i might actually want to see what it looks like if you swap the laces of say like you know like a a vintage color like a cream color or a white color or something see how it would look like they actually would look really good if you do swap the laces because it does come with the extra set of laces, which comes in this crazy looking box here. Okay, 
Okay, so I guess now they're coming in these boxes now instead of the plastic, you know? Uh, so yeah, if I guess if your Air Jordan Low does not come in this box, it might be fakey. Two OG, I mean OG Lows that we got so far this year. We have the Mystic, or yeah, Mystic Navy, and then the Beach Bleach Corals. And I still say that I liked the Mystic more than the Corals, but I like them both, you know, especially with that cracked leather and all that. I know some people don't like cracked leather, but I still like this color blocking a lot more, in my opinion. I still like this one the best. And if I had to choose between the three here, the dark powder blue, the corals, or the navies, man, I don't know. I might have to, uh, it's, 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 it's kind of tough, man. I, I, I'm really digging this colorway. I'm really dig digging this color blocking, man. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, man. I might have to try to get these things a personal pair for myself, like a personal size, and do like a on-feet review and all that good stuff, man. This is just too clean. This is a really clean colorway. Usually with this blue, this uh, this like powder blue or uh, university blue, I guess you want to call it. They use this colorway usually does very very well. If you guys know, it's like the UNC Dunks, the University Blues, any UNC colorway always does very, very well. But this blue here is a little bit different though. It's a little bit darker, so I guess maybe people are not feeling it. I'm not too sure. I just can't wait till these actually come out to the US, man. These things are actually really, really nice, man. I'm really digging this. I, and that's what I'm saying, man. OG Low are doing, the color blocking are A1, man. They I feel like they've been doing a very good job you know, I, especially with the lately with some of these OG highs, some color blocking has definitely not been it. Some color blockings I've been feeling really nice, you know, been feeling pretty good. Uh, but we've been getting a lot of bad OG high colorways. And that's why I feel like a lot of people has moved over to the OG lows, definitely. And they're cheaper, of course. I think the retail and OG lows are like one thirty, if I'm not mistaken. I know some people say that OG lows, you would want to go like a size down you know i guess you could i usually go with my true size uh you know i wear a size nine and a half and it fits fine just for me and i like to wear little sneaker shields in it and all that but i just want to just point out i do have the 2018 19 this is the sb uh uncs yeah 2019 this is the sb though i got this back at sneaker con now this is definitely the unc air jordan one uh low not to be mistaken about these that's why they're calling that powder blue dark powder blue i guess colorway you can kind of see it is this one's a little bit lighter this is definitely a little bit darker see the colorways it is a little bit of difference a little bit of difference man that white lace is on these shoes here it just makes it pop it really does but the material wise again pretty nice man pretty freaking nice i'm digging it i really oof. it ba is basically the same materials as a starfish OG low. Starfish, the quality uh, is about the same, but star actually the starfish is a little bit better to be honest. Um, but still, this is such a great colorway. Hey, I'm starting to like a, little, a lot of lows. I think a lot of people are starting to get into, uh, especially OG lows. And I, you know, I think these things are pretty good. Uh, I think these are actually a really nice colorway. Now, like I said, the recent these things are not really going that crazy. I, uh, you know, that's just kind of how it is nowadays, especially. Uh, I think these things are a shoe that a lot of people will be sleeping on, but don't get it wrong. Th this shoe here, it will sell out whenever it does come to US. You guys already know, it, especially with this this powder blue colorway. This actually might have more potential. Th these might actually go up more than these, to be honest. If you think about it, like, I think the resale on these are gonna do better than than the other colorways that came out. Maybe the the coils might do better, but with this color blocking and this material, all leather, yeah, these are. <sighs> I might have to skip on this investment and actually go all in on these things for real. These things are actually pretty nice, man, I must say. But hey, I'm not gonna go too crazy just yet. I'm gonna just see what happens whenever they do release in the US, if they if they haven't already. Yeah, I believe EU, they, they, they were already dropped in sometime the end of July. Uh, don't know when the US actually gonna drop theirs or if they haven't, if they have already, not exactly sure. I haven't really paid attention to it. It wasn't on like sneakers or the, on the Nike app just yet. Uh, so we just wait for that. You already know how it is lately. EU and Asia have been getting their stuff, uh, their releases like way earlier than us. And that's why like, you know, like say like the fire res and the taxis and all that, they all been released over there already. We haven't got ours yet. yet. I wonder what's gonna happen with the reimagined, AKA Lost and Found Chicago Air Jordan ones. That's, I think that's the new name now. Ugh. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen because we just got ours pushed back till November. I want to see what happens whenever uh, that's whenever that's gonna drop. Well, you get theirs first, and then we get ours later, or so on and so forth. It could be a big ordeal, so we have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Jumping Chris on IG, something on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumping Chris. Push.